What's up guys, I'm the Gamer 119 and I'm here doing the next episode of Never Have I Ever Played, episode 2. I know it's like a it's been a month since the last episode we we're supposed to do or I was supposed to do Resident Evil 3 last month, but my audio ended up messing up in that episode. So now I'm doing a different one and obviously it's a different game due to the title. So um the way this is actually going to go is uh, I can tell that you guys are kind of wondering why this one is so different from the first one. Um, we're no longer doing the group sessions where we're going to have a discussion about what the player had played. Instead, we're going to do solo um, reviews. Not really reviews, but like solo um, chats, I guess. Regarding, uh, I guess reflections would be the right word. Solo reflections of what we played um, on the game. Like like how far we got to the game and stuff like that. So we're going to be answering certain questions um, that are going to be listed on a, on a document. Right now I have the questions on my phone though. I will put on a document for the other episodes. But uh, we will be answering these questions in a not so essay, not, 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 like, a, not like a formal Parker. way, but more in like a casual way. You know, we're just going to see these questions, can casually answer them and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully the others follow this format the way I will Captain present Alice. it. And uh, yeah, so you guys will see the, uh, the gameplay in the background as well. Uh, that doesn't change. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so I, did, I did my intro. I'm the gamer. Hello. Hi, Justin, if you guys prefer. Um, and I played Alien Isolation. Now, for those of you that don't know what Alien Isolation is, I somewhat know the storyline uh, from what I've been told and from what I've played, obviously. Um, Alien Isolation is a um, horror survival game-esque, in a way. I'm not sure if there's weaponry in it. I don't, I don't think... I, I didn't get that far at all. But I know for a fact other people have, and I think um, it's just used to like defend from uh, the other... Uh, enemy, I guess you can say, inside the game. But pretty much the basic, the base summary of the game is that you're supposed to, I guess, find your way off of this uh, space sta um, colony station that you and your crew decided to go on from. I, I want to say a distress, a distress signal that you guys received to like save the colony or the the humans on that colony and stuff like that. But little did, uh, little did you guys know that you know there were aliens on board, like you know the aliens from um, the actual alien universe, and. Um, uh, the reason why that colony station failed so badly, and the reason why human uh, humans are against humans, are um, is because um, the aliens are so good at hiding the fact that they're killing <laughs> uh, people on that station. So it's like people think that people are killing people, and that's why they form like groups and factions and teams and stuff like that to survive and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's just been like that throughout the whole entire time before you get there, and so you get to discover a little bit more throughout the storyline and what's going on. And I want to say the fir within the first hour, if you played it, um, not like me, um, but if you played it throughout the first hour without any mess ups, without any distractions and stuff like that, you probably will get to why, um, you know, like the whole entire alien part of the game. And yeah, it took me that long just to get. Actually, no, it took me a little bit over an hour. I think it took me an hour and a half just to get me to that part of the game. But um, anyway, uh, I was told about this game before um, by Inspector Barry. He had streamed this game a while ago, and I thought the game was pretty interesting. I'm a huge fan of the Outlast series. I have Outlast 1, 2, and um, Whistleblower. I played Outlast 1, I think, three times. Outlast 2, uh, two times, and Whistleblower only once. But again, I, I love the Outlast series. I just like the concept of horror games where you're supposed to like just survive and like run away and stuff like that. Hide, make sure you, you don't get caught and stuff like that. I, I don't like the first-person shooter part of... Uh, survival, um, horror games, kind of like Resident Evil. I'm not a huge, huge fan of Resident Evil. I mean, I did play Resident Evil 2, I have Resident Evil 3, and I was supposed to do that, you know, never have I ever played the original Resident Evil 3, which honestly would have just been the remake as well. I would have, I was gonna play the remake, but it still counts. But, um, yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of that, like Evil Within and stuff like that. So, um, I figured I'd give Alien Isolation a shot. And also, people on our Discord server, they've been streaming that, so, um, I thought it was gonna be pretty interesting. Why not? Because I never played it, so let's go. Um, anyway, from the time frame that I played it on, uh, I'm going to say I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the game. Um, it, def it definitely has like a fair share of cutscenes. I think like within the first hour, there's like maybe just under 10 minutes of cutscenes, which is pretty interesting. That's how you know it's more of a, not really a cinematic game, but there's definitely like a film-esque film esque feel to it while also st still being the type of game that has very intricate gameplay and what i mean by that is like you had to like really pay attention to what the characters are saying for you to follow it 
Um, you have to, like, use certain tools to open certain doors. Like, I think you use a wrench or something like that to open certain doors. Um, actually, I don't think it was a wrench. I think it was something. Was it a wrench? Probably was. Um, and yeah, there's just a bunch of things. Like, you have to, like, open, like, sign on, or sign onto these computers, to activate certain terminals and stuff like that, to turn on, uh, electricity and whatnot. So there's a bunch of stuff that you have to actually do in the game, which, uh, warrants its gameplay. While also still having that story movie feel from the other alien movies and stuff. Um, so I really enjoyed that. One thing I didn't really enjoy, though, in the game was the fact that when it came to me really having to maneuver around the humans, like, at a certain point, um, and they were, like, very hostile, uh, I didn't really know that there wasn't really a proper tutorial, I guess, in the beginning of that to, uh, to tell you, like, hey, you should, you could hide here, um, just in case, you know, um, cause I think I got caught twice. I, I think I died the first time. I tried to leave one of the rooms where I turned off the electricity to actually move around these humans, but, like, I wasn't sure if, uh, there was another way out of that room. I don't think there was. So, obviously, they would come into the room to fix that generator. However, I was in that room, and there wasn't really much places I could hide. So, I think the first time I left the room, snuck by pretty easily, but then somehow they caught me, and they ended up shooting me. And because it was dark, I couldn't really see where I was going, so that kind of sucked, and I died. Um, the second time, I was I stayed in the room and hid behind a box. <laughs> and it's kind of funny because one of the guys uh, they went right to me and looked at me, and I looked at I looked up at them and I was like, please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. He ended up shooting at me, so I just ran. I like booked it uh, to the side I was supposed to go to, and it counted, so they didn't chase after me. So that was pretty cool. But that's the only like the only thing I didn't really like. I don't think there was a proper tutorial for that. Uh, they just kind of put you in the game. Um. Anyway, uh, so. With regards to gameplay overall, I I want to say it's definitely it's different. It is different. Um, so if you're not really used to this type of game where like your decisions, your saves, it matters what you know, what you uh, if you've been paying attention to stuff like that, that matters. Uh, it's kind of like a Telltale game in a way, like where your decisions in that game, if you've been paying attention to your surroundings, to the conversations of the characters and stuff like that, all of that matters then you'll enjoy this game if you if you like those type of games if you don't play those type of games if you're not familiar with that type of game style then in a sense you won't like this game it's not like your typical outlast where you can just run around it'll tell you where to go it's a straight shot there um i think there's probably a lot of rooms on that space station so you probably will get lost if you're not paying attention i, I think i did once <laughs> so it's not like outlast um so yeah you really have to pay attention this is a very focused game if you're distracted you're kind of screwed um, but yeah, I honestly, for what it is, I, I think it's fair. I don't think it's a tricky gameplay at all. I think the gameplay, the mechanics, stuff like that is all fair for what it is. Uh, one thing that's really interesting about this game is that, is the save, honestly. I, li I like the save idea. So when you're saving, uh, it takes about three to four seconds for it to actually start the save menu, the pop-up save menu, where it, like, ends up pausing the game and stuff. Uh, the reason for that, and I think the reason for that, is because when you're getting chased by someone or, like, by an alien or whatever, which they eventually do roam around the station, um, and if you save right then and there at a, at a save station, um, once you leave that save station and you die, you'll be respawned right at that save station and you'll probably keep dying and dying and dying over and over and over again. I think that's a useful idea regarding the, uh, the four, three to four seconds wait. However, it can be a blessing and a curse. The curse part is the fact that if you don't make that three to four second window, you are screwed. Because if you die and you get taken out of that uh, little sign on save thing that you're trying to get, uh, get to, you will get reverted to your last save point. Now, I don't know if there's auto save. I, didn't, I don't think I experienced auto save. Um, but I did die, like I said before, and I was put back into a previous uh, save point. Hi, Shinobi. That's my little puppy. He wants to jump my attention. Hello. He was home alone all day today because I had to work and my mom was not home. So he's going to attack my arm for a little bit. And if I say ow, that's him scratching it by my arm. Anyway, um, so yeah, so if you don't save accordingly, like you really look around for save points, you're kind of screwed, man. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that was a pretty cool mechanic. Uh, from regarding the storyline, I don't think I got further or far enough to really get to really have an opinion on the storyline. I mean, I like the idea of it. Like, there is a plot to it, and you know the plot. You can pretty much tell the plot at the beginning of the um, of the game. But regarding like if there's like a, a hidden agenda storyline, like kind of like um, Alien vs Predator, for example. Like, obviously they were under the uh, they went they dug under the ice and stuff like that, found the aliens. 
then, you know, Predators were also there and stuff. And the side storyline to that was, like, that main female character. By the way, I think the female character you play in this game is actually the daughter of, like, the main female protagonist in the Alien movies. So that's pretty cool. I think uh, Barry ended up telling me that. But, um... Yeah, yeah, so in Alien vs. Predator, there was that lady who ended up, like, fighting alongside the Predators to get out of there. Like, that was, I think, the end result storyline. I guess, like, technically speaking, the main one was to get the hell up out of, from the, uh, from the ice cave <laughs> to survive that alien onslaught. But, you know, that side storyline, you know, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think I gotten that far in this, uh, game to really have a comment regarding the storyline. Um, however, I do think I might keep playing this. I might keep playing this to get further along the storyline, uh, to get further along the game to see if it's what I think it is. Like, if it's like a mixture be between, uh, the, the see if it's like another Resident Evil game, but not, not like Resident Evil to the point where it's like, oh, there's zombies, shoot them and the lay, you move past them and stuff like that. No. I mean, like, I think, again, there is attacking your, um, aggressor or, um, the alien and stuff like that, which, puts it into that uh, alien, uh, not alien, but like Resident Evil slash the Evil Within type game style, not like the Outlast when you just run away and hide. So I'll, I'll see how it goes. I'm not really a fan of those type of games, but I'll see how it goes. So I will, or at least I might continue playing the game. However, I definitely will suggest the game, only because it was suggested to me to play it a while ago by Barry. And I do enjoy, oh, hello. I do enjoy suggesting games that I think other people would enjoy as well. So I would suggest this game. Um, however, I don't think I'll play a game similar to this. I, I don't think I will. Only because, like I said, I'm not a, I, I, I haven't really gotten that far. I can't say I won't. I won't because if it's not like Resident Evil or Evil Within where you do get weapons and stuff like that, then it's more like Outlast. And I have played Outlast. So obviously I would play a game like that. However, I wouldn't play a game like uh, Resident Evil or the Evil Within on my free time. Maybe it's just something I have to get used to. I just don't like the idea of ammo um, conservation. Like, I don't like the idea of saving my ammo. For like a boss or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, ow, I'm sorry. Like I'm trying to read these questions and answer them accordingly in the proper format, but then my puppy keeps biting me. Um, from what I'm, oh, from what I'm aware of, I don't think Alien Isolation as a game actually has other game modes. There probably is. I don't really, I didn't really look at the menu properly. I mean, I have the, I have the game file. I could just look it up right now. Uh, would that be unprofessional? <laughs> Would that be unprofessional? Well, if it is, I'm doing it already, so. Shucks. Hold on, little buddy. I got to look up if there was a... Uh, actually, let me... Uh, can I? Can I? Yeah, there it is. Mute my uh, audio on my computer, because that will be very bad if I just play this out loud. Um, where is the alien? There it is. So I'm going to look at the menu. I think I recorded it from the menu. Um, hi. Rude. Okay, no, there's just a play button. So no, there isn't any other uh, story modes. There's just a campaign. So yeah, there is no other game mode. So it's literally just a campaign. So after that, I think after you play it and beat it, maybe there's different difficulties as well. So which I think is the only thing that actually really gives it replay value. Other than that, there is no reason to play it. Like for me, if I play it fully and it's it's just a one and done, I'm gonna uninstall the game. And probably not play it again. Like for some reason, I don't, I don't know what it's. I don't know what makes Outlast so special, but I really do like Outlast. I, I really do enjoy it. Um, maybe it's the music. I think I really enjoy the, the Outlast music way too much. Um, overall, however, uh, this will actually conclude the video. But overall, I did enjoy what I played. I did get distracted from the puppy and from my mom and stuff like that to do other things uh, while I was uh, playing the game. However, I did enjoy my time playing it, and, um, yeah, yeah, I, I will probably play it again. I, ow, I still have it installed, and I will see how it goes. But anyway, that has been the video of Alien Isolation. Again, this is probably going to be the way Never Have I Ever Played uh, uh, gameplay videos will go. There are at least, I think, if you do it properly, or depending on how long the person talks, they'll probably be around 10 to 15 minutes long. Uh, just short, simple chats and stuff like that. Um, I don't think we'll have extra gameplay to play at the end of the uh, end, at the ending of these videos. I think it's just gonna be a short video like this. 
So um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you've played Alien Isolation. I want to hear your thoughts on the game um, and what you enjoyed about it, what you didn't enjoy about it, and stuff like that. And if you haven't played Alien Isolation, let us know in the comment section if you would have played. If, you, if this video actually inspired you or, I guess, not inspired you to even... Or not really not inspired, but I guess inspired you to whether or not to play this game. Because if you guys don't want or don't like horror games and you guys... Uh, really listen to my opinion, then I guess that it's for you not to play it. If you guys do like horror games and um, listen to my opinion, and I guess that would inspire you to play it. <laughs> but yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and don't forget to click that notification bell for other things that we are releasing this month. We have at least just below two more videos to release this month, including the Clans of St. Helios official trailer that is gonna drop this month. Woot, 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 can't wait for that. And um, I will see you in the next video. Later.